So there's a must-watch uh, video with uh, Hannity interviewing Trump today. Ooh, last night. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Watch Trump. Trump walked out of the uh, office, walked out of the meeting with, uh, with uh, Russian leader Putin. <laughs> and um, he, he went in and he spoke with Hannity on what happened and what was discussed. <clears throat> and I got to tell you, it's, it's, I, I, really, I, I really discounted Trump in terms of his, his financial insight. But I, I got to say, he's a fucking genius when it comes to uh, this issue of, uh, of neutralizing you know, hostile nations and, and, and all this. I mean, he, he spoke, he spoke elegant, elegant, eloquently, um, about the situation, but he, what, what he said was, it really, it, it really, really struck me I, and that, you know, the Democrats, we know they want to see perpetual war, cold war. Why? Because there's money in cold war, right? It's not necessarily money, truth train going slow. Slow truth is going to come out. So he spoke so eloquent, eloquently about um, about his conversations with Putin that that there, there, there was no Russian nonsense collusion. That, that, that was a democratic uh, wedge. Trump called it a wedge. He, he had nothing nice to say about uh, Strokes and Comey and Page. He, he's accusing, directly accusing Obama of having, a, you know, ha, have led the charge. Watch the interview. But, uh, but I, I just found it fascinating to watch the, uh, an American president uh, neutralize the, any animosity with a very, very powerful uh, nation like Russia, a superpower. Where 90% of all, uh oh, two truth trains. Uh, and uh, Sterling, Sterling Price, the, the train, I'm on, I'm in the middle of the platform, the train can't hit me. <laughs> I know there's a couple of people on the on the loony left that would like to see the train hit me, but it ain't gonna happen unless somebody pushes me. And I'm always looking behind me, so I can see behind me. So so Trump Trump is a is a rock star today. He's 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 uh, the the bombs. He says he, the, there's no bombs flying over Japan today because of North Korea neutralized that. I I think Russia is gonna become like a a a uh, see that that's the tragedy, right? See, our economy is set up for a military industrial complex, right? We make money on setting up bombs and, and, and the war machine. So being friendly with Russia doesn't really help us anymore because the, because we don't have a thriving economy. Our economy is based on military, right? At least Trump gets that part of it, right? Pretty much, I mean, Nixon got it, Reagan got it, for, for whatever reason, the the ultra uh, business style Republican presidents, Nixon, Reagan, now Trump, uh, Bush didn't really get it. <laughs> Bush, but but uh, Trump clearly gets it that that you have to sell America. That, you know, you know that that's what that's what Reagan did. Reagan didn't. You know, Re Reagan sold the world on American apple pie and. You know Michael Jackson and Bruce Springsteen, right? He he sold he sold our our brand around the world, and from that we we thrived. Unfortunately, the corporations stole it from the people, which is what which is really the fight, and which is the fight that Trump fundamentally still doesn't get. Maybe he has a plan. I I, I fail to think so because he's not talking about it. But he is, he is in front of the media where 95% of the media and 90% of the House and Senate and Congress are, are, are opposing him, are standing in his way when he's over there neutralizing conflict with, with Russia. That there really never was. But he's just, he's just making it clear that there never was. Right? The FBI and it, these guys got to go, you know. I mean, and any senators and congressmen that that are are leaning on this fake Russia story for political gain, for political reasons, for financial, for to to to, to enrich themselves through 
military industrial complex money. They have to go. This is treason. Right? It's really treasonous. So today I'm a, uh, I, you know, you have to give credit where credit is due, right? I, I fundamentally disagree with Trump on his, 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 uh, his economic policies at home that he's not addressing the, the one in seven people on food stamps, the, the object poverty in America right now, where people lost their houses in 08, you know, all this, this that, that there's, no, there's, no, um, there's no growth, there's no chance of prosperity for, the regular, for regular people. And that's, that's where, where I would fundamentally disagree with Trump, and there, there we fight, right? That we, we do need, we need a new deal at home where the corporations must be held accountable for, for, the, for the bleeding out of the top of the money, stealing all the money. Grotesque level of wealth and, uh, wealth and income, income and wealth inequality, excuse me. Right. We have to hold, we have to address that, President Trump. But on the other hand, Trump is, is, is spectacular on neutralizing, uh, neutralizing international markets because if Russia is, if the story fades, which of course it will because it's a fake story about Russian hostility, when that fades, Russia becomes a friend, a, a travel partner. You know, people travel, <laughs> you know, in New York City, we, I, I, know, I know 100 Russian people and they look at that story of Russian hostility and they laugh at it. They think it's a joke, right? It's a, it's a, it is a joke, right? Or when I, I went to Brighton Beach, if you look at my video in Brighton Beach, I was chasing Russians around the streets of New York City. Are you a Russian agent? So anyway, Trump gets um, enormous credit for, 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 for bringing world peace Right? The, the Democrats still call him a blundering idiot, right? He's a fucking, he's a, he's a, this is his calling, right? Everybody thought he was Mr. Business, you know, Mr. Businessman, Mr. Mr. Economics, but he turns out not to be. But man, is he good, man, is he good on the world stage. It's, just watch the Hannity, watch him, watch him handle it. It's just, I mean, of course, Hannity, it's, it's, uh, it's safe grounds, but, um, it was really, really good to see. So, my name is Marcus Conti, investigative reporter, uh, candidate for the United States Senate on the independent ticket, the Bird Party. Peace out.